after discussing the process of diffusion and osmosis let's discuss osmotic pressure well osmotic pressure is the mechanical pressure that must be applied on a solution to prevent the passage of solvent in the solution through a semi permeable membrane means the pressure that we are going to apply on the solution so that there is no movement of solute particles right so this is how you will define the osmotic pressure but how you going to better understand osmotic pressure is let's demonstrate this by an activity well uh, in this activity what do you need you need a thistle funnel this is a thistle funnel and you going to put a semi permeable membrane that we have taken in the form of parchment paper right you going to put it here and in this thistle funnel you are going to put hypertonic solution hypertonic solution for example you can take sucrose that is sugar solution right you will take sucrose that is sugar solution then in the beaker you will be taking hypotonic solution that is for example say water right so i will also tell you again what is hypotonic solution and what is hypotonic solution what is the difference between the two on the basis of osmotic pressure right so you going to take a thistle funnel take a beaker in the beaker put hypotonic solution that is we have put water and in the thistle funnel put hypotonic solution that is we have put sucrose that is sugar solution now we have inserted a piston which is going to move upward and downward right we have inserted a piston now what is going to happen in this case you will see after some time because we have put this parchment paper which is acting as a semi permeable membrane due to which osmosis is going to take place due to which osmosis is going to take place you already know what is osmosis it is the movement of water molecules from the region of their high concentration to the region of their lower concentration means from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution the movement of water from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution so here in the beaker we have water so it's a it's purely water definitely it is going to be a dilute solution and in this thistle funnel we have sucrose that is we have added sugar into water so this is now a concentrated solution means in this case the water molecules are going to be less as compared to the as compared to the water molecules that are going to be there in the beaker so according to the osmosis process there will be the movement of water molecules that are there in the beaker into the thistle funnel and we have a semi permeable membrane so we can to call this process as osmosis namely endosmosis going to take place means the water is going to enter from the beaker into the thistle funnel when the water is going to enter into the thistle funnel this piston is going to rise upwards this piston is going to rise upwards so this proves that endosmosis is taking place means the water is moving from the beaker into the thistle funnel so it's a proof of that the movement of the piston upwards right now put some weights put some additional weights after putting additional weights what is going to happen there will be no movement of piston now the piston will not move now so this is how we can demonstrate the osmotic pressure means the mechanical pressure that must be applied on a solution to prevent the passage of solvent in the solution through a semi permeable membrane now i hope that the definition we have discussed in the beginning is clear to you by the demonstration through this experiment or this activity right so you can see that when we put some additional weight the piston is not going to move so this is how we are defining osmotic pressure right now osmotic pressure is actually the pressure that is exerted by the solute particles right so when we have put the additional weight since the solute particles they are in motion 
they are moving they possess kinetic energy so when we have put in additional weight they are going to arrange themselves in the available space and in turn they are going to exert pressure and that pressure we are calling as osmotic pressure so osmotic pressure is the pressure which is basically related to the solute particles now i i told you that we'll be discussing hypotonic solution and hypertonic solution on the basis of osmotic pressure now what is a hypertonic solution a hypertonic solution is the solution which has higher osmotic pressure what do it has it has higher osmotic pressure means the solute particles are more in number means it's a concentrated solution hypertonic solution is what it is a solution which has higher osmotic pressure it has high concentration of the solute particles means in case of sucrose solution obviously we have put water right so but there is a presence of additional solute particles in the form of sugar so it is more concentrated then if we talk about a hypotonic solution hypotonic solution is the solution which has lower osmotic pressure and it is more dilute solution it is a dilute solution so as a whole in this case if we define osmosis in terms of osmotic pressure then we are saying that osmosis is the movement of water from the region of lower osmotic pressure to a region of higher osmotic pressure how you can see that here we have a hypotonic solution which means we are talking about low osmotic pressure and in this thistle funnel we had hypertonic solution means the solution which is at higher osmotic pressure so there was a movement of water molecules from the beaker into thistle funnel means from lower osmotic pressure to higher osmotic pressure you can also say that there is movement of water from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution the movement of water is there from the dilute solution to a concentrated solution so this osmotic pressure is actually pro directly proportional to the concentration of solution means greater the solute particles greater is going to be the osmotic pressure since this hypertonic solution contains more number of solute particles means osmotic pressure is more in the thistle funnel and in this beaker the solute particles are not they, they, we have simply taken pure water they, it means that the osmotic pressure is going to be low so just remember the common funda that osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the concentration of solution means more concentrated the solution more is going to be the osmotic pressure right so we have also discussed hypertonic solution means the solution which is at higher osmotic pressure means which is more concentrated and hypertonic solution which is at lower osmotic pressure which is more dilute you can say right and we also have one more term that is isotonic isotonic means when the solution is actually at the same osmotic pressure means when you talk about the external environment and the internal environment both of them they have the same osmotic pressure so there will be no net movement of the solute particles or no net movement of water right so that is a isotonic solution now you have a fair idea about the movement of solvent molecules which takes place from a region of lower osmotic pressure means from a dilute solution to a region of higher osmotic pressure means to concentrated solution so this is how you will demonstrate osmotic pressure means the mechanical pressure that must be applied on a solution to prevent the passage of solvent in the solution through a semi permeable membrane so i hope you will be able to define osmotic pressure you will be able to demonstrate this with the help of this activity and you now know that osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution more concentrated the solution more is going to be the osmotic pressure